What's going on guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and welcome to version 1.6 of Assetto Corsa Competizione. This will be my first of three videos covering this massive update for the title. And today I'm talking about the cars included with the 2020 World Challenge DLC. Let's go. So we'll start off with the Ferrari 488 GT3 Evo. As the name suggests, it's an evolution of the wildly successful Ferrari 488 GT3. The 488 GT3 has been so successful in fact that it now has over 300 wins and 500 podiums to its name, all since 2016. That means this car has won over half of its entries and been on the podium over 90% of the time. But stats aside, let's talk about the actual car. The most notable changes are in the aerodynamics. The car features a new bumper with a smaller section underneath the headlights, new canards to generate more downforce, the vents on top of the wings are also bigger than the outgoing model, and also the front section of the door is now more tapered to more effectively channel lateral airflow. The car also has a longer wheelbase than the previous generation, it's lighter overall, and the traction control and ABS systems have been given further tweaks. And finally, it's worth noting that the changes to the performance of the twin-turbo V8 engine are minor. Ferrari has tweaked the engine management system for reliability reasons primarily, and reduced the turbo lag, but the output is not drastically different from the outgoing version. So what we have here are some improvements to an already outstanding car, and that's exactly the right tactic given the incredible success Ferrari has had. They've kept the excellent looks of the car intact, and of course, the sounds. But of course, the looks, sounds, and aero tweaks mean nothing if the car doesn't drive well. So let's do a lap at Imola, and later in the video I'll share my thoughts on the new Mercedes and Ferrari models. And next up, of course, the Mercedes-AMG GT3 Evo, known also as simply the Mercedes-AMG GT3 2020. Like the Ferrari, the Mercedes isn't an overhaul of the previous car, it's a subtle but significant evolution, primarily to the aero. Most notably, Mercedes has allowed themselves more adjustments to the front splitter and rear wing. This is another car that the manufacturer was rightly hesitant to change. The AMG GT3 has some impressive trophies to its name, including the 24 hours of Nürburgring, which could be considered the ultimate test of a race car. So it's no wonder that Mercedes describes what's been changed moving to the Evo version as details. 
the car only looks slightly more aggressive and thankfully retains its roar. And now, of course, it's time to drive it. So my thoughts on these cars can be summarized in one word, outstanding. Kunas's content has become an almost automatic recommendation from me at this point, and that reputation is upheld here. Both of these cars drive exceedingly well, with the Ferrari feeling light, nimble, and quick on corner exit, and the Mercedes feeling more bulky, but stable and predictable, especially on the new tires with the updated physics, and the track ain't bad either. I'll have more on these driving physics in the Imola track coming very soon, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and enable notifications. Thanks so much for watching.